Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren and I want to do a little bit of a commentary over the secret cow level that is live as of today and talk a little bit about it, the trivia and everything. So the secret cow level is basically whenever you finish a dungeon, you have a chance. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a 100% chance guarantee to summon a loot goblin, but I've heard reports in some dungeons where a loot goblin isn't appearing and no loot goblins are coming about. And so basically you kill this loot goblin. And back on the beta and back in the alpha of the game, people remember killing loot goblins around Dalaran that would just spawn randomly. So you'd kill the loot goblin and you'd get some random pieces of loot, but the loot goblin functions and if you actually didn't kill the loot goblin, he would disappear after a little bit of time. So it functions the same way in the dungeon, so all you have to do is to see the loot goblin to get to the secret cow level, queue up into a heroic dungeon or any higher level difficulty, and kill the loot goblin as soon as it appears. Don't worry about uh, the boss and the loot from the boss. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. I guess you should loot the loot goblin because you have a chance to get like a 28 slot back from him. But get through the portal ASAP. Once you get on the other side, you will be marked for PvP as far as I heard. Because it has some weird thing where it goes, takes you out of the dungeon into Dalaran sewers and then into the, I guess the cow area. But you can of course fly there as well and it's just an area on in Duskwood towards the south. There's like a pocket area. So you go through it and there's bovines, bovines everywhere. So now you're in the cow level and after a few minutes you'll be teleported out so enjoy it while you're there. So in the cow level we have a ton of cows that you can kill. You have the cow king and if you kill him you have a ton of, of rewards that you're able to get. You're able to get a 12 string guitar which you can play inside of inns instead of any resting zones for the most part. So you can get toys, you can get random stats or that are still in your bags and give you like certain plus agility plus mana. I'm not sure if these stats function inside of PvP areas or in the PvE out in the world. They probably function everywhere else besides the raid and scenario based groups. So inside of PvP zones they probably don't function, inside of raids they probably don't function, inside of dungeons they probably don't function, especially in mythics of course. Uh, maybe in heroics they might function, uh, but they basically give you random stats. And this is something of similar to what Diablo had in terms of items. I never really played Diablo that often, but that's what I heard and that's what I read. Is, is this an item similar to what Diablo would provide for you? And of course you have a bunch of town scrolls, but you should probably come back to the cow level a couple times in order to get the book. So you can keep going back to Shalaran on an item rather than on a scroll because then you're using up the scrolls compared to using up an item. And this place is also great for anybody who does PvP and let's say you're farming up the HKs for your artifact weapon in terms of PvP one. This is a great place to go if you're aligned to Horde. Grab some buddies together and go and farm people because this is where everybody's hanging out at right now. And especially if you are on the Horde side, of course, you will be able to see everybody running around all over the place. And that's part of the fun and just being able to kind of farm people up and just, uh, I guess, attack a bunch of people all over the place. It is a bit of joy, a bit of fun. And I guess the question would be, what is this whole level about? Why is there a cow level in the game? Why are we playing a cow level and how does it have to do anything with Diablo? Well, first of all, it's Diablo's 20th anniversary, so they decided to put it into World of Warcraft. So if you played Diablo 2 at any moment, and if you played the cow level, this is the reference to that. Now, what is the cow level from Diablo 2? I looked up the wiki for it and apparently Blizzard likes to say in trivia, there is no cow level, but a cow level was a way, a secret level that you could find in Diablo 2. And the wiki says that you apparently had to beat the game again on the same difficulty. So let's say you beat the game in the Act 4 or Act 5 on normal difficulty. You had to go back to the same Act on the same difficulty in order to unlock the level. And when you would go through it, you would find bipedal cows with pole arms. And they would be called Hell Bowl Vines. And then you finally kill the king, the cow king. And apparently it was a way for people to farm experience and maybe some piece of gear, some gold, and whatever. Whatever you would farm back in Diablo 2, because it's been ages since I played it. I played it when I was a wee little Russian kid. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't even know what English was, and the whole game was in English, so I had no idea what I was doing, but it was fun just clicking away and watching a bunch of goblins and monsters die at the time. So this is the uh, homage to Diablo 2 uh, from this 20th anniversary. So if you guys do feel like hanging out and if you are feeling like doing some PvP or want to farm up some uh, uh, items for the bovine, I guess the, the cow king uh, toys that he drops and uh, other loot, you guys are more than welcome to. So the way to do it is to queue into a dungeon, I think heroic or mythic difficulty and kill a boss. And at the end of the boss, don't go looting for gear, go straight away after the loot goblin, kill him as soon as possible and go through the portal and and then have your fun killing a bunch of uh, bovines from hell with a Diablo 2, uh, I guess, event going on. This is actually exciting, and I think this is kind of like a premise or preference to 
the future events that we'll have in World of Warcraft because there will be a lot of many holidays, as I said in the past, from the uh, beta on the PTR. And I guess this is kind of how they're going to be implemented in the game, kind of seamlessly and just with little events that will remind us of the good old days. And it takes you to the weirdest spot whenever you do exit out of there, but that's something that happens. So you use the place at your own caution. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.